Hey, what's up everybody? It's BDF44. So I'm coming at you today uh, because I'd like to talk about uh, Skip Bayless's comments in regards to Dak Prescott coming out and telling everybody that he had been suffering from clinical depression um, after COVID hit and of course some personal circumstances involving his brother. Um, it's kind of sending him into a bad space. <clears throat> Skip Bayless is essentially saying because you're the leader of the Cowboys, America's team, you have to display a certain level of uh, strength. And he believed that Dak Prescott probably shouldn't have went public with his truth. More so, uh, maybe go to, to a psychiatrist, confide in his circle, his personal friends, but not to the public, to where his statements could be viewed as bulletin board material for another team uh, and, and basically leave a mark on him that has everybody thinking he's weak and is not capable of handling the job, uh, especially given the circumstances with the contract and everything that didn't help. Uh, you don't want, in Skip's opinion, to display a level of weakness or in a, in a, an inability to handle quarterbacking one of the most important and uh, prestigious franchises in sports. And uh, I, I found myself saying, I think I understand why Skip feels the way he does. Skip is from a different generation, uh, a generation where they s suppress a lot uh, to to kind of display a certain level of, of strength and, um, you know, invincibility, I guess. You know what I mean? It's, it's more so if I got something going on, I'm going to keep it to myself. And you're never going to know about it because that's what you need to see in order to believe that I can't be touched. I think we're in a, a situation now, we're in the world where we know better. We've seen what that does to a person's mind and body, suppressing thoughts and feelings and, and, and dealing with depression on your own can lead to um, drug abuse, suicide, uh, messing up things for other people, etc. It's best that people get things out. And, and while I want to reiterate again that Skip didn't say he should keep it in entirely, he just shouldn't share it with the world. I think Dak Prescott used his voice to show others that even when you have responsibility like this, being human and taking care of your mental health, prioritizing your mental health is important. I see the fruit in him displaying uh, his truth to the world. I don't think uh, that's, that he's right, uh, Skip is right in, in, in saying that Dak should keep it to himself because uh, Dak has a responsibility to others. And as, as uh, Shannon Sharp said, uh, in the same segment, um, you know, maybe depression runs in their family. You know, the situation involving his brother, I didn't want to speak on it because it's so personal, but whatever took place there could have been because of depression. So if their family suffers from depression, who's to say that Dak Prescott, if he suppresses his feelings or if he doesn't share his truth in the way that he is, won't won't feel the same way, you know, won't won't end up going through the same struggles. We don't want to see that. We know better than that, um, and, and, and it's not necessary in this era to do what Skip is suggesting because you're not going to be viewed the same way that you would have been viewed in Skip's day, you know? Yes, Skip's generation, you couldn't do that. In this generation, more or less the Black Lives Matter liberal generation that, that most of these kids are, no, they, they prioritize mental health. They prioritize displaying a certain level of strength. They see the fruit in doing the more difficult thing, whatever that may be. Uh, if it means crying and showing vulnerability, that's what they respect more because it's the more difficult of the two things. It's much easier for me to sit up here and pretend everything is fine in your presence than to sit here and, and, and bear my soul and tell you what I'm dealing with. You know what I mean? Do, and, 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 and since it's the more difficult thing to do, it should be the more, it should be seen as the stronger option. And I think that this generation gets that more so than a lot of generations past. A lot of generations past didn't see the harm that it could do. You know what I mean? They didn't see that that was destroying their lives and destroying their bodies and sending the wrong example in some cases, pretending like everything's fine when it's not. You don't want your kids to do that. You know what I mean? It's about an example. When you have the type of voice that Dak, Pro Doc, Dak Prescott has, uh, you want to make sure that you're using it properly and you want to make sure that you're setting an example that, fo that kids can follow. And pretending like nothing's wrong does nothing for those who are suffering in silence and need to speak up. So I, I commend Dak Prescott. I think he did not only the right thing, I think that he's going to be blessed greatly for it. 
And I don't think that he's going to lose any respect in the, in the NFL or in the locker rooms. And if he does, that means those guys who lost respect for him need to grow up, honestly, because it's some childish stuff right here wanting somebody to suffer in silence, knowing what it can do to their bodies, knowing what it can do to their minds, and ultimately knowing what not doing so could do for others. So, yeah, Skip is all the way wrong. It's all the way wrong. Um, and look, at the end of the day, this is just part of human evolution. We know better than our parents did about certain things. We see how certain things played out for them. We see how past generations went through certain things. And we know more than they did. Our science allows us uh, more understanding about our minds and our bodies and our environments than they were afforded when they were coming up with whatever they were coming up with. They had to live a certain way because there was no social media, no internet, certain things like that to kind of incorporate a certain level of intimacy between individuals that you otherwise wouldn't find. A lot of times when people walk around the individuals in Skip's day, you had never seen that person before, you don't know them, so you had better display whatever it is that's important to you to display. As to where now, even in whatever display you do, if all I need is your IG and your social media information, I can find out what display you're showing over there. It could be something different, I match the two and then realize you're not what you say you are regardless. So it's just a different world, and I think that plays a part into it as well. So anyway, I just hope Skip can sit down with some people, talk, um, figure out the angle that he's missing here, learn more about the importance of what Dak's display can do for others versus his concerns, which may just simply be outdated in my opinion, um, and, and allow and, and trust the kids to be present in their times. Do you understand what I mean by that? A lot of times older people are so used to the world being a certain way that they don't respect the perspective of a young person living in times that they're uh, enriched in, times that they're more involved in than maybe the older person would be. This is their heyday. They know how to move today. <laughs> they understand what's accepted and what's not, probably a lot more than you do. So you got to respect that. Um, you know, they are the upgraded versions of us in regards to uh, how they are moving in this world. And we need to just allow kids the opportunity and young people the opportunity to just be themselves the norms that you lived with there a lot of them are done and some of the things that you are holding on to are going to die with you and uh let these kids be healthy let these kids display vulnerability as a means of displaying strength and helping one another let them be who they are and stop taking old ideals and things that no longer ma uh, apply and, and and applying them here in these times uh, so that's what I gotta say man um, yeah and I hope that, that that wisdom the wisdom that I just spoke into this video carries me as I get older to not think that the things that I know today are the same and to ignore the perspectives of the young people of that day they know their times at the end of the day they know their times and take care of your mental health prioritize your mental health um, don't let people who are afraid to do so tell you to stay uh, silent just because they're afraid doesn't mean that you should be. Speak your truth. You know who you are, you know what you're about, and you know what you're trying to overcome. You'll help somebody when you do. My name is BDF. I'm out.